hello 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 and welcome to plans on planning here we are in my fitness planner and it is time to set some new fitness goals i hope you're just excited about them as i am um let's get going let's not talk about it let's just do it let's do it let's do it do it do it. i have this super cute fitness um washi banner that i like that is kind of my fave at this point to be honest and that's just basically because it has some, <clears throat> excuse me, has, <clears throat> has, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, has some really fun um, little quotes uh, on it. And then I like that you can see through to the polka dot. Kind of what I like about it the most, to be honest. Aside from the inspo. Inspo's are great. Hmm. And then I'm putting this right upside it. And I'm actually just going to cut it. And I'm going to just cut this a little bit off on this side as well. Bam. All right. Now, let's add some stickers. So I have my fitness stickers. I told you I was getting a new fitness book. Guess what I got? A new fitness book. Ha ha. Now, granted, I got a new fitness book, but there will be some things that remain the same. Like the fact that I like to write in a lot of stuff. What I'm currently looking for right now is my little weight. I think I'm going to write weight in, though. All right, let's look for some inspo instead. Um, yeah. Go out and get it. Get out, get out and go. Oh, gosh. All right, um, that is great inspo for a Sunday. And I'm putting it... Okay, so as you can see, I wrote in the numbers ahead of time. But there is the plastic thing for the tab. So when you try to write, it doesn't work at all. So I'm going to try to find, let's do a square in there. Don't be square. Because I was going to do this one. Um, How about this nobody is perfect? I mean, I do want this to be on a Sunday. But this is great to add there too. Nobody is perfect. Yes. I mean, we all want to strive for this perfection we think is going to like make our lives better but the truth of the matter is perfection is what you think perfect is so if you're 180 pounds and you're healthy and you can move and you can get up every morning no problems your you know cholesterol vitamins all that great stuff is at a great level then that's perfect for you to be honest if you're 150 pounds and healthy as a horse, vitamin, cholesterol, all that stuff is at the proper levels, bam, that's healthy for you. If you're 200 pounds, but all your vitamins, cholesterol is healthy as a horse, then that is perfect for you. It's not about anybody else when it comes to this fitness journey. It's about you, and what works for you. All right. I'm writing away in. Oh, where's my wellness check? I do need my wellness report. I wonder if I can write in wellness report. <gasps> Let's write in wellness report. Shut up. Wellness report. And it's workout. Vitamins, water, and sleep. Yes. And then we have the big way in. And then I'm just going to put LBS here. So I can 
right in the pants. Oh my gosh, I love that. So much better than a sticker. To be very honest. All right, so let's add some info throughout this bad boy. Um, oh, I love my little hydrate stickers. I just like to put them oh throughout just as a little reminder to hydrate. Just to watch out for what I'm doing. So, I have a pretty aggressive workout schedule going on this month. And that is because Miami Carnival is coming up in October. So, this little lady got some pounds to drop. I'm not even going to lie to you. She got some pounds to drop. Um, not just because of Miami Carnival, like I got some pounds to drop regardless, but if I drop these pounds, I would look so much better in my costume. So this little lady got some pounds to drop. And for that, I am totally kicking it up some extra notches, which means I'm adding a little more, like I'm focusing, um, a lot on weights. So, and I'm not just talking like. 10 pound weights, five pound weights. Like I'm doing weights that are actually challenging me. So I'm starting at 15 pounds and I'm going up from there. There is no going down for me. So five and 10 pound weights, so long, farewell, goodbye. All that great stuff with those weights. Um, I'm, you know, doing weight machines. So I'm doing 60 pounds and, and better. When I do the different weight machines for like my back and my tries, uh, <laughs> I sound like I know a lot, right? My back and my tries. Gotta work on my delts. Um, don't ask me what delts are. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to not only because I do love my cardio classes, I feel it's a great way to mix up the cardio with the Zumba and the dance, but I'm also getting back on the elliptical. Yes, which I think is a great, great, great machine to use. Get off of the freaking treadmill. I'm going to tell you that right now. Get off of the treadmill. Get off of it. Get off of that. All the treadmill does is help you keep your pace. You want a real walking workout? Go outside. Yes, go go outside. I don't want to hear it. Go outside. Yeah, all the treadmill does is help you keep your pace. Um, if you insist on using the treadmill, because I know somebody's going to be like, I don't care what she's saying, I'm getting on the treadmill anyway. Get off of the, like, 1.5, 2.5s. You need to be doing, like, 3.5 or better if you're going to be on the treadmill, and you need to kick that incline up. Start at 2.5, Okay. Because when you're out walking, you know, from your car to the store or, I don't know, to the mailbox, you're never walking at a pace of 1.5 or 2.0. Like, you just don't. You walk at a 2.5 pace. So, start at a 2.5 pace for your warm-up, two-minute warm-up, and you kick it up from there. And while you're kicking it up, get an incline going. But like I said, get off the freaking treadmill, please. Just let it go. Because all I see at the gym while I'm busting it out on the freaking elliptical, elliptical, sweating my little buns off. Because let me tell you, nothing makes me sweat like the freaking elliptical. So I'm sweating my little buns off. And the chick in front of me is on, on her phone, on the treadmill, doing 1.5. And I promise if I wasn't so focused on what I would do, and I was going to push her. Yes, I said it. I was going to push her. Oh, I'm going to write some things in. I just got caught up in my little spiel. All right. So, it's time for the writing. So, you see, I added just a couple of little things because I love this. So, I added some Be Strong, Walk It Off, Work It Out. I got my hydrates. The 31st, we're hitting a goal. 
I don't know what that goal is just yet, but we're hitting a goal on the 31st. Just know it. I'm going to write it in somewhere. We're hitting a goal. Um, and to do that, I'm cutting out all of the junk. Like I said, I don't have much junk, but I do have a couple of indulgences. Um, I'm letting go of the coffee. I don't drink coffee every day. I'm not an everyday coffee drinker. But when I do drink coffee, um, I put a lot of everything in it, which really isn't good. And it can basically serve as a meal for me. So I'm letting go of the coffee altogether. None of that. So that cuts out sugars. Well, it starts to cut out of sugars. I am cutting out sugars, and that's just natural. Natural sugars will be coming from um, fruits and honey. I only use a teaspoon of honey in my tea. That's it. If it's not honey, I don't use it. If it's an artificial anything, I'm not eating it. Absolutely positively no fast food. So that means I have to actually make sure that I'm getting in the kitchen and I'm getting things done. Because, you know, sometimes the week doesn't go how you want and meal prep gets a little funky and you're like, and well, not you're like, I'm like, okay, I didn't make the meal prep on the weekend, but I'll do it on Monday, but I'm stuck without a meal for Monday. So that means I'm headed to some fast food somewhere to get something. No, that is not an option anymore. I have to eat properly and that is going to aid me in hitting my goal. All right, so let's start some things up. So Monday, what are we doing Monday. Monday, Monday we have Zumba. Zumba, 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 Zumba. Zumba. And then Tuesdays we do cardio dance. Um, Wednesdays we have Zumba. Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Uh, Thursdays is glutes and core. Along with a little Zumba. I tell you I'm kicking it up a notch. And Fridays, I call it total body. So that's when I hit those weights. So granted, I have these classes, but before the classes, I do weights. Um, on Wednesdays, Mondays and Wednesdays, I do about a half an hour to 45 minutes of weight training. That's what I tell you, 15 pounds or better on the free weights. Um, and that's when I do my curls and things like that. Um, and then, uh, we have the cardio dance and the glutes and core. I do some weights in the glutes and core class. And then I do my Zumba for cardio. I do Zumba after cardio dance too. Crazy enough. And then whenever, and then we're going to do some cardio here. And then when I'm not too tired after any one of my classes, it's elliptical time. And I'm going to do at least 20 minutes on the elliptical. So like I said, it is a very aggressive uh, caseload, if you may say. If you, uh, may say. Um, actually, let me, can I move this? Because if I can move this over a little bit, because I forget we do work out on Saturdays. We just do an hour of cardio on Saturdays added to the running around like a chicken when I had cut off from uh, errands. So I'm going to put my sticker here. Bam. To highlight the Zumba in my life. Now... This is me. This is my month. This is what I do. I thank you, thank you, thank you ever so much for uh, planning with me, for decorating with me, for stickering with me, but also for listening to me um, and my little fitness rants. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely feel free to drop a comment below. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can go right ahead and shoot me an email. I'm always checking my emails, and I love, love, love to hear from you guys. Also, if you have any, um, besides plan planner-related, if you have any fitness-related questions, you can go ahead and ask those as well. Um, you can check out my website, ontheroadtofitness.com. 
I have a bunch of tips and things, tips and tricks and meal planning um, to help you out. Um, you can also shoot me a message on there. I check those often as well. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media. And then when you do uh, slide up in my DMs and be like, hey, I saw your video, like, talk to me. And we can become uh, planner buddies, we can become fitness buddies, whichever one you are, both, because I'm down for that too, y'all. Um, but nonetheless, I will see you later. Bye.